Hello students, welcome to Excel Academy's uh, YouTube channel. Today uh, we are here with another MCQ video on uh, business economics. The chapter that we are going to focus here is uh, money and banking. Now let us take the first question. First question is money is a dash asset. The options that are given to us are the first option is uh, it is a perfect asset. It is a liquid asset. It is a perfect liquid asset. So this is the right answer for us. Money is the perfect liquid asset. Second question is anything that is generally acceptable as a means of exchange and at the same time acts as a measure and store of value is called. See, this is the most commonly used definition for money. So the answer is straight away option C, it is money. Next question is M is equal to C plus DD is dash approach. First option is traditional approach. Second option is monetarist approach. Third option is both A and B. Last one is above all. See, traditional approach is C plus DD. Monetarist approach is C plus DD plus TD. So the answer for this is C plus DD is the traditional approach to measure money. Next question, functions of money are measure and medium. Second option is store and standard, both A and B. So money is a measure of value. Money is the medium of exchange. Money is store of value. Money is a standard for measurement. So all these are functions of money. Hence the answer is option C, which is both A and B. Question number five, money should be easy to carry or transfer from one place to another is dash quality of money. Now we know the good qualities of money are acceptability, portability, homogeneity, uh, divisibility uh, and uh, durability, all these things. So here we are talking about uh, carrying the money and transferring the money. So the option for this is uh, option B, which is portability. Question number six, when a bank accepts cash from the customer and opens a deposit account in his name, it is called. See, for the first time, the customer is walking inside the bank branch. He is paying the money and requesting the bank to open an account in his name. So such accounts are called primary accounts. They are also called passive accounts. Very important. Uh, this is primary and passive accounts. So the option is the first option. Next question, expand CRR. This is a sort of a, a lottery question for us. Answer is simple, straightforward. It is cash reserve ratio. Again, the answer is option C. Question number eight, Federal Reserve is the apex bank of Dash country. Like all of us know, every country across the world will have an apex bank. It is autonomous in nature. If you take India as an example, our apex bank is RBI. So the question here is, Federal Reserve is the apex bank of which country? So the answer for this is USA. It is again option C. Question number nine, Accepting deposits and lending of loans is the dash function of banks. See, this is the most elementary function that every bank has to do. So the answer is a straightforward answer. It is option A, which is primary function of the bank. E-banking is also called email banking. No, it is, it is not the answer. Computer banking. No, not the answer. Virtual banking. Virtual banking is the right answer. E-banking is also called electronic banking is also called virtual banking. Question number 11. Collection of bills is dash function of the bank. We have seen the primary function as uh, uh, you know accepting deposits and giving loans. So collection of bills is the secondary function of the bank. Option Answer is option B. Question number 12. Banking websites that provide information about itself are called dash websites. See there are two, three kinds of websites that we have. The primary of them is the information website. Second is the transactional website where we can actually transact through the website. Here it is told it is giving only the information. It is not facilitating any sort of transaction. So the answer for this is option A. It is informational website. Question number 13. Cash management is dash service. See, cash management facility is generally taken up by businesses. So it is a wholesale service and it is done for a lot of customers. So it is a wholesale service that is given by banks. So the answer is option B. Customer wire transfers are dash services. See, there are two kinds of wire transfers that happen. One is uh, 
commercial wire transfers the other one is customer wire transfer whenever it is customer wire transfers it is the retail service it is from one person to another person the money is transferred and it is called customer wire transfers so it's a retail service answer is option b identify the advantages of e banking accurate information okay reduced time yes reduced cost whenever time reduces cost also reduces time and cost are proportional to each other so all these are the advantages of e banking so the answer is d all of the above question number 17 expand eft uh, let us go from the first one electronic fund turnaround electronic first transfer election fund transfer last one is electronic fund transfer so the answer here is uh, uh, electronic fund transfer which is option d it is electronic fund transfer question number 18 system where goods are exchanged for goods very simple it is again a lottery question for us if such questions come you are guaranteed you should you should be you should make sure that you don't lose marks and the answer for this is barter system we have been learning this since ages when goods are exchanged for goods such a system is called barter system question number 19 a debt which has been incurred and will be paid back at some point in future participative payment partnership payment deferred payment now look at the words here a debt so somebody has borrowed some money and uh, it is been paid back but not immediately but in future so the option for this is deferred payment and the answer is option c question number 20 the last question of this series rbi was established in the year very important question you need to remember this year it was established in the year 1935 i hope uh, these 20 questions added some value to you if you have any doubts you can leave it in the comment section and we shall get back to you with the right answers thank you so much 